for Penzance Plays. And today, we're going top lane Pantheon. And a little bit of a special mix here. Alright, so, I like top lane Pantheon. I'll say that right now. He's got a good single target stun. His passive allows him to dive turrets pretty easily. It's, you know, it's a pretty can do a pretty good job of running rough shot over a couple of characters in the top lane. He gets countered kind of hard and his mana issues are kind of less suck, but all things considered, Pantheon is a good top pick, especially because he effectively has a teleport and a half. Because um, I'm bringing teleport one and two because of his ultimate. I think I'm up against the rise here. Although I haven't seen their last pick. We have a support Darius. Uh, which I have actually seen work before a, a buddy of mine plays it. And it it really is funny. Um, and support Darius mixed with a vein ADC. That's going to be so much damage in that bottom lane. Uh, we've also got a Shaco and a Kali who are one very early game snowballer and one snowball lead champion. Okay, so they've got a Vayne Blitzcrank. Rise with teleport's probably top lane. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I apologize. My sinuses are draining something awful, and I feel like ten roads, ten miles of bad road to hell, but... The show must go on, as they say. So, what we are doing today um, is we're going to be going to split damage pantheon. AD and AP. We're going to be rushing Gwinso's Rageblade. Um, which uh, my good friend Lord Bruiser has extolled the virtues of on champions like Mordekaiser. Uh, stacks up faster now. Uh, it stacks up AP and AD damage. It um, stacks up twice with your a melee champion. Uh, so basically four attacks and suddenly Pantheon gets to ignore the next. Um, attack against him, and is dealing AoE damage, which that's kind of sexy, I gotta say. Uh, we're running armor penetration and mana regeneration. Um, I forget what I eventually ended up going with as my keystone mastery here. I think it's um, critical, uh, crits will heal me. It might be the stacking uh, damage one. Either one would be fine, really. Uh, Pantheon naturally crits uh, once you have a point in his E and against targets of 15% or below health. So we could take advantage of it that way, or we could just stack up additional AD. The reason we're going a split damage build is because both his both of his jumps, his W and his R, uh, scale 100% off his AP. His R does like a thousand damage to enemies in the center of it. So if I get lucky enough and land that, it's a thousand plus whatever AP I've got stacked up. But we're going to the Gwinso's Rage Blade, and then we're going to be going into a uh, Hextech Revolver after that. Or the Hextech Gunblade, because that's going to give me some life steal, some spell vamp. It's also going to give me um, a ranged attack, basically. That's not my Q. Uh, I believe what we're going to be doing, though, is starting with the call. Um, yep, and point the spear shot. And it wants me to start with a corrupting potion, and that, that just doesn't sound like me. I'm not really a sustain player. Um, I tend to prefer getting all my sustain through runes and masteries. Like, I have a lot of bonus uh, mana regeneration for my runes. I think it's like 6.6 .6 for 5 seconds, plus I've got the uh, the mastery that's going to give me... Um, Whee! You move so fast. I have... Uh, okay, so I've got Warlord's Bloodlust, so crits will heal me. Which will be nice once I'm, you know, basically last hitting minions is going to heal me up. With the call, that's going to be just... that's basically the playstyle I want to reinforce is a good idea for myself. So those are, these are all good things. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I have one point of AP. Eat it, bitches. You 
you don't even know how powerful this is. So powerful. I actually used to run um, just straight AP um, Pantheon. I, used, I seriously used to do that as a thing with like a Lich Bane and uh, uh, a Deathcap. And people looked at me like I was crazy. And then um, you land, because his, uh, his W does a ridiculous amount of damage at that point. So I wouldn't even get like the full combo off of the WQE thing. I would just, oh goody. just uh, pretty much annihilate people on landing. Really, aside from like an opening Gwinso's Rage Blade dealt with kind of clear waves, I'm really not sure what we're going to go build path wise here. I mean, crit obviously is a good idea just because we'll heal off of it. Um, probably end up going with like a Yomu's Ghost Blade for the uh, armor penetration, especially since we're up against a Rise. Two guys with single target stuns. This should get stupid. These are all things we can use to our advantage. Well, we're farming way better than we usually do, that's for sure. I usually have just an awful time last hitting. having that problem today. That's nice. Not sure what my neighbors are doing. Sounds like they're banging on the wall. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I know I'm trying to do a show in here. got three kills and two of them are on the Darius who has not bought items what is the f what in the hell Just feeding a vein at this point nope no gank for you non gankus Ramesses. Ha. I won that trade. That's kind of nice. I have a vague feeling this is not going to go well just because our Darius is apparently just trolling the hell out of us at this point. But. Oh well. I 
Ah. Now I'm gonna die here. <sighs> All right. Well, that at least gets us something. It gets us that. Oh, boots. So Ardarius has no items. He has Thunderlord's decree. Does he have both AP and AD? Okay, you, you got the kill. Get the. You didn't get the kill because you triggered his friggin' Shaco. Okay, their Blitzcrank is a killing spree now. I think we're pretty much done here. There's not really going to be much I can do about this. I can kill one guy at a time. I'm not going to be able to do much against three or four Fed members. But hey, we'll play it on anyway. We'll see how it goes. Something happened good. They do have, you know, two plus kills to every one of ours right now, though, which is kind of a suck. Okay. Yeah, Rise is just standing there waiting. Screw him anyway. Moving over here. Putting down a ward. Getting something done, at least. Feel a little accomplished. They will know. An ally has been slain. Why does Ardarius? Oh, Ardarius has some items now. For some reason, it's Merc treads and a. Door and shield. An enemy has been seen. Oh, okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You hit me with that. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Alright, well. Man, it is what it is. There's really not much I'm gonna be able to do at this point. We've already lost bot tower. It's not even ten minutes in yet. I mean, this is pretty much a dead experiment before we started. Not that I'm not going to try, I'm just annoyed. Uh, we've still got a lot of things we can do. A lot of plays we can make, but... Rise is just stacking up now, and Ramus can basically be everywhere because he doesn't need to go bottom. Oh, for crying out loud. What is this vein even doing down there? Not to mention this 
Oh uh, god, the Darius. Hey, look! Murder happened. Oh, and here comes Yasuo now. Alright, fine. You can't block me. I I I'm I'm a person. Fantastic. Oh, look, there's a rise in that bush. Oh, look, I see a rise. Alright, well, I can get my rage blade, so I might as well just go do that. Gives me something at least. Oh, yay, they killed the dragon. Well, we know where four of them are. I really, really, really wish that there was something I could do, but there's really not. I can bait him. I can bait him for the Akali, I guess? I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. He's such a fucking presence. I know my path. It's like I don't even know why I'm bothering to worry about my ultimate, because it's not gonna help anybody. This is the most useless Darius. Like, I'm not saying something. I've seen some really useless Darius in my time. Okay, here come the rest of them. Nope. Yeah. There we go. Something happened. Not that I'm surprised. Just disappointed. Oh, 
this could have been a decent game, but their vein has nine kills and they're I mean this is just ridiculous. Just waiting for twenty minutes to roll around so we can get this over with. Because, I mean, like, this works in theory, but in order for that to actually happen, I need, you know, a team to actually support me. Teammates who could support me. And I do not have those currently. I do like how good the wave clear on this thing is. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. Almost makes me wonder if I should be doing it as a jungle thing. Yeah, Akali's basically our only help here. So the support Darius is building exactly what a regular Darius would build. Just much, much slower. That makes sense. Sure. Second item in the works. Something at least. I still have yet to use the Grand Skyfall. Because there's been, honestly, no good chance to use it. My team's not grouping at all. And while theirs is, I, going in one-on-one -on -one is pretty much suicide. Like, yeah. Jumping into that would just get me killed. You've got to be kidding me. We still didn't get her. Oh, we got her, but... I got the stun down, at least. On the vein, like I was supposed to. So that's, that's something. And yeah, this is this is pretty much all of this Darius. That was nice. We've gotten one turret. We've lost many. Nope. 
Double nope. Kill him. Yes, because, you know, I'm the one that's actually dragging us down here. My bad. Whatever. this we should probably actually get tanky because we're going to need it. But we've got a decent range of damage. And with the Rage Blade we can actually clear pretty quickly. So I think that's the answer here is to start getting tanky. Goody, Baron. Because that's what they needed. Yeah, you guys can have Darius. He's pretty much useless. They've got so much frickin' crowd control when they're grouped up like this. They aren't dumb enough to chase Shaco, though, so that's something. I guess. dispute the claim that this Darius is silver 3. But, uh, yeah. Screw off. I got at least one kill. Oh, yeah. We're, we should have surrendered about six minutes ago. Of 
course, the Darius isn't going to surrender. Why would he? He's having fun. Control. Okay. Well, they can't all be winners. Honestly, I feel like we really had a chance except for that Darius. That's really the upsetting thing. Like, okay, I had a bad early game because of the Rammus and the Rise ganks. Like, that was going to happen. That's, again, that's so much crowd control in two champions, and both of them are coming for my face, like, all the time. Um, but, I mean... What do you do with that? We didn't have an we didn't have a support. We basically had one guy that just stood around and did nothing. So, no matter how snowballed an Akali gets, she can't take on a whole team by herself. And Vayne had some moments. She had some real good moments where if she had had an actual support and had an actual laning phase instead of the shitstorm it became. You know what? We probably could have actually gone toe to toe with them, because they were pretty bloodthirsty and stupid. So, but be that as it may, 